Are you worried you're not eccentric enough to be a CEO? <laughs> you know, th that's a funny question. The, uh, the world is getting noisier. So you have to do a lot more uh, crazy things to get noticed. And I think Elon's doing a great job of that. Um, obviously, he's, uh, he's sort of become a human meme. Okay, that was Wayne Lloyd. He's the CEO of Trace Safe. And Wayne and I did a podcast recently. You can see the entire conversation also posted right now on the channel. This video is gonna show some clips from that conversation and some other clips and really break down the company so that you can understand what they do and figure out if this is the kind of thing you want to invest in. So Trace Safe is a location tracking wearables company. The company's product was used to track babies in maternity wards, but during the pandemic, they adapted their product to do contact tracing. You may hear the word contact tracing, and I know, I know, I know. But you might have a different feeling about it when you hear that the company has been growing 100% for three quarters in a row. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent quarter over quarter. Quarter. That's right. Yeah. So we we just released our Q4 uh, 2020 earnings guidance. So that puts us at uh, yeah, hundred percent quarter over quarter revenue growth since our inception. Um, which and is when, you know when was that? Uh, early 2020. So we've got that was our third quarter of a hundred percent quarter over quarter growth. And then you might be thinking, hey pandemic's over, bro. We don't need contact tracing anymore, but turns out this tracking system is actually super useful for big enterprises that need to figure out how well the supply chain is moving. Everything from, you know, asset tracking and warehouses, you know, following in real time where, where, where pallets and things are going all the way to um, tracking the pace of play at golf courses. Um, this really opened up, you know, a massive additional market for us, uh, for all these wearables and asset tracking, uh, products that wasn't there. So all of the, all of the work that we had to do to make this thing work as a, as a wearable contact tracing location, um, kind of proximity management has had profound effects on the markets that we're able to go after in the future. And, uh, you know, we just keep getting inbound requests and, and like this market is expanding rapidly for us. Okay, so now the obvious question, what is it? What does it look like? What's the product? That's, that's not it, uh, but it could be. It, it looks very similar. The difference is Apple's going after the consumer market and Trace Safe is going after the enterprise market. And when I saw the AirTags announcement, I was like, oh, I asked Wayne about this. Was there a consumer angle here? Not really a consumer angle. We, we think it's always gonna be B2B. And at first I'm thinking, missed opportunity. But the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking the consumer market might be a lot smaller than the enterprise market. I mean, I mean, how many people have turned exposure notifications on on their phone? Did you even know that it was there, that you could do that? Nobody talked about it. Contact tracing is like a dirty word. When a country is doing it, that obviously invokes all sorts of privacy watchdog issues and everything. One company, you know, taking taking care of their employees and sort of monitoring, you know, who may have come into contact with one another. At, on a very small scale where it only works in, you know, a, a workplace environment. And when you leave, it's not, there is no tracking. There is no ability to track. You don't have the, the sort of existential privacy worries that you would if you had, you know, an app on your phone that tracked you, whether you're at work or whether you're at home or whether you're out. The joke I was making when AirTags came out was that Apple came out with a great girlfriend tracker. It's invasive, there's privacy issues and companies like Apple, Facebook, Google, they don't have good track records of keeping privacy top of the list. TraceSafe is working with the cruise ship industry, the hotel industry, the sports industry, arenas, convention centers. These are places that have a strong financial incentive to maybe lower insurance costs or just increase efficiency, but they have a strong financial incentive to have data on the safety and efficiency of their venues. If you find out there's a there's an outbreak at your work environment, um, you'll know that because they'll be able to sort of, you know, uh, 
uh, put the pieces together. And then it's about, okay, at that work environment, who are the people that you were in contact with? And it's really at that point, a business risk mitigation strategy of yeah. you, know, you don't want to get the whole work site shut down. You want to be I able see. to be able to kind of pinpoint the right people and get them, get them in a situation where they're isolating, but it doesn't put the whole company or the whole project in jeopardy. Or everybody's social life. That does seem like a way more socially acceptable way to get a lot more contact tracing done out in the world. Yeah. If you just if you just have it done in places where people already know, hey, I'm in public, you know, my face is on cameras and yeah. like they feel comfortable um, sharing those moments. And then even though they're not getting their social moments, there's still a lot of help being done by by that type of contact tracing. Yeah. So if you think about something like um, let's say you went to a music festival, you know, everyone gets a wristband already because, you know, that's your ticket. And then the ticket has an RFID badge that is linked to your credit card so that you can seamlessly pay through all the vendors. But our form factors go way beyond just these wristbands, right? We've obviously become known for those because we've, we've sold so many of them. But, the, but really, it's about tailoring the right product for, for any given situation, right? So whether that's a construction industry with a hard hat or whether that's a lanyard uh, badge if you're, if you're working in an office tower. Okay, so whether you're on the fence about Apple AirTags or not, you know who's not on the fence about location tracking? businesses. They care about, does this save me money? Does it make the workplace safer? Yes, yes, let's do it. And they're buying these things in bulk. The pandemic pretty much thrust this technology into fast pace innovation mode. And things have gotten to the point where now they're cheap enough to be even disposable in a lot of cases. This is like the internet of things for industrial efficiency and safety. So I think when you're trying to decide, is this a good investment? The question you wanna ask is, is this technology something that's going away? Or are businesses going to continue to want data on the inner workings of their business that keeps it safe and efficient? I think the answer is yes. So how fast are these things going to be adopted on the consumer side or the business side? Who knows? Let me know in the comments if you think this tech is worth investing in and if you think it's going to be adopted sooner on the consumer side or on the enterprise business side. And if you are interested in finding out even more information, check out the full length podcast. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and most importantly, share. If you'd like to help me make more of these videos, consider joining these awesome people as a patron. And that's it. That's, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. 